Hey everybody, your Violas here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we were curb stomped by Claire, but somehow through item spamming, we were able to win. However, though, Claire thought that our cheap tactics were too cheap, so we have to go through the Dragon's Den. This time, we are going to go through it. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll keep a commentary because I've heard that um people are having some issues. On YouTube with this with Dragon's Den, so um Non Stop Talk Marathon Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dragon's Den. This is a mini dungeon of sorts, so there's a little bit of trainers here. You, how dare you enter uninvited? Why this place is it is only accessible after you beat the gym? Only lo only Gumi knows. Yeah, this place would make a whole lot more sense before the gym so we can actually get a Pokemon. That would be so much better. Oh crap, you have Surf. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a... <laughs> I had a Pasha Berry on. Oh, you sir just got curb stomped. And I'm only bringing along four members of my team. The reason why I'm behind this is because, well, first things first, I need Whirlpool for this place. Strong. And the second thing is that I want to have a free slot in my party for something. That's about it. What is it? Hello, yes, you have another item in a place where I don't need reception. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Ugh. Well, anyways, going through this place, right here, get yourselves a calcium. I guess that's generally alright. So, yeah, so anyways, just, ugh. There was such a random difficulty spike right here. Get yourselves a revive. Make up for when the man revives have used. So, yeah. Well, at least we're here in the water. Now, here in the water, you can find Dratinis. Dragonair, maybe. I've heard you can find Dragonairs. I'm not for sure. You can also find Magikarp. A lot of Magikarp. And, um. Anyways, is there an item over here? Yes, there is. Good. So yeah, so um, where are you? Right here, Max Elixir, okay. Well yeah, so if you want to go to this place, you actually have to go all the way around, just... Mm. Honestly, this part of the game, I really don't care for. So, nope, nothing else around here. Yep, there is a whirlpool. Gotta love them whirlpools. So I guess while we're at it, we might as well take down this other trainer here. You shouldn't be in here. That's what they always say. And Spurs grew to 36. Oh yikes, I lost. Ugh. I am so ready to be done with these freaking Cedras. They are so mean, I didn't want to do that. I want to use it. Man, Cedras, they've been becoming very increasingly annoyingly tough. It's the fact that they're using Waterfall, which pretty much flinch locks you. Yeah. It honestly really sucks. We're going to get ourselves a Max Potion. Oh, I'll love to take them. So let's go continue on forward. Hopefully we will be able to uh, get through the rest of this place. So, uh, Double Trainer. I reckon I can take them on. It's a stranger, someone we don't know. Who are you? Ouchies, meanie. So that is the last stranger here. We get ourselves Max Elixir here. Not too much here. Yes, you're staring into my eyes. You can see the the great annoyedness. And I am at Dragon types. Ugh, I hate Dragon types. I mean, I like Dragon types. I just hate fighting them. So yeah, so I brought out the HM Slave. That's good. So anyways, we could go on ahead and head in there. But instead, I want to go over this way. Is there an out here? Nope. Okay. But anyways, come up here and meet ourselves a Dragon Fang. Goose of Power Dragon type moves. Generally alright. I'll go ahead and go ahead and do some more Sorifin. Some Soyfin. 
Alright, with that all done, we can now go into the shrine. Oh, come on, your pals. Work with me. Yeah, yeah, dude, already pals. Can I enter this door? Thank you. Hmm. Good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl is a handful. I am sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? They are friends. Oh, I understand. What helps you win battles? Strategy. Oh, I understand. What kind of trainers do you wish to battle? I'll battle anyone. Oh, I understand. What's most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Oh, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, which is important. Bull. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That's, that convention is what is important. Potato, don't lose that belief. I will see, it will see you through the Pokemon League. Huh, Claire. So, so did the go. I bet there was no point in asking. You did fail? What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire, this show is, is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Well, what must I inform Lance of this? I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. Take that, Claire. Take it, and take it and shove it up. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use, to use move, the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, the all Pokemon Mon, you know as a trainer will, will obey your every command without question. Claire. Reflect upon, re reflect upon what it is that you lack in this child has. By the way, have you heard of Lugia? It seems a Pokemon said to have lived around rural islands once. Never mind. Just mad words of an old mon. So yeah. So now we can go on surfing. Anyways, we're almost done here. So let's go on ahead and cross this whirlpool. So yeah, so we are almost in here. So why did I bring al bring along an empty slot? Well, that's coming up here. So once he set a foot. Wait, I'm sorry about this. Here, take take this as my apology. We get TM 59 Dragon Pulse, powerful Dragon type move. It contains Dragon Pulse. Well, Dragon Pulse is kind of a uh, never mind. It's a huge energy of kind of some kind. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? If you're heading to the Pokemon League, go back to New Bark Town and surf along Route 27. Your face is telling me you have some unfinished business. Come on. Whatever you have to face from now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse than having about having lost to you. Give it your all. Screw you, Claire. Now with that all done, we want to head back to the Dragon Den. Trust me, let's see you do. And my computer went into rest mode, so I'm gonna have to probably re-enter the password. Oh, yeah, I hate laptops. I seriously do. How people are able to use laptops, I don't even know. Come on, I need my notes. Don't shut off on me, you lousy laptop. So yeah. But anyways, if you haven't do things right, you'll be able to get yourself a special Pokemon in here. I mean, you'll be able to get yourself Pokemon regardless, but a oh, very special Pokemon indeed. Hmm, good to see you here. Your rival's most fortunate now. Something for you. Take this Dratini as proof that I now know your worth. We obtained Dratini from the Master. No, I don't need to give it a nickname. Dragon Pokemon are symbolic of our clan. You have shown that you are entrusted with one. What is it, Chad? Potato, howdy, shout out to you. Did you know? Yes, 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 yes. Good job, good job. Yay, it's so pointless. So, anyways... What I wanted to go on ahead and uh, let's go ahead back outside. So I'm done here. Before we do so, let's go ahead and check our Dutini. Serious nature, but it comes with extreme speed if you answer all the questions correctly. Always, always moves first. Very, very good. This is a special Dutini. If you're, this is only attainable if you're able to get all the questions right. 
If you don't, you can get a Dratini that doesn't quite have that, that, uh, powerfulness. So, so, yeah. Extreme speed. Pretty good, pretty darn good. In fact, it's very good competitive these days, even now. I mean, I'm not even sure what, uh, Sun and Moon is doing right now, because I still don't know. That's still a ways out. So, let's go on and head out, because we are done here. Yay, very short dungeon. Now, you do like Dragon's Den? You won't be back for a while. Hello, Potato. How's it going? I've got a hold of something neat. Sing down and pick it up. See you later. Okay. We could go on ahead and pick that up, but instead of going there immediately, we have some unfinished business. Otherwise, we now have waterfalls. We can now doing some things around the world. First things first, we're going to go back to Mahogany Town, because the rest of this episode is primarily going to be extra stuff. So if you're done here and want to see me progress in the story, skip to the next episode because, yes. Yeah. So anyways, what are we doing back in Mahogany Town, you might ask? I might have forgot something. Well, there's two things, really. The first thing is up here because I can't forget something, because once you run Team Rocket out of Mahogany, you're able to get yourself a powerful TM. Ah, I forgot about its existence until just now. I got chased out of my post from, from these two rocket thugs. Then he disappeared. So, someone apparently destroyed their hideout. One more thing. I found this under the counter. It may be, it makes me uncomfortable. Should, can I give it to you? We can get TM. 36 Sludge Bomb. Powerful poison type move. You gain Sludge Bomb. Not only damages po the target, but, but it also poison it sometimes. See? Doesn't make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, too bad there's... Too bad we won't be dealing with too many grass types, and the grass types we do encounter, they're going to be have a resistance to poison. I turn up the volume on myself, so that's really loud in the ears. I'll meet you guys in Mount Mortar. Oh, hello! So, as mom get me tango berries, yeah, I need more of those. Not really. What else did I get? Rindo berries, I don't really need those. Okay, so why did I get so excited over the muscle band? Yeah, I came in here to suck up more super repels. Muscle band. Oh, hell yes, I'm giving this to Man Moso so that way he can hit extremely hard. It boosts its attack power a bit, so I really want this. Anyways, coming back here, we now have all the items available, otherwise, we can now buy photo stores. I came in here for the super repels. You have no idea how many Pokemon I encountered just in one little patch of water. I'll give you a hint, it was more than enough. So anyways, now that we have full access here, we're going to go explore the rest of Mount Mortar. Well, a large enjoy the rest of Mount Mortar since we don't quite have enough for the um other things. So anyways, coming up, coming through here, I rec once again, I recommend that you have a free slot in your party. Now that we can finally claim waterfalls, we now have full access to this cave, so yay! So, I'm just going to just browse them through there. Welcome to the back part of Mount Mortar. I don't think there's any new Pokemon back here for now. Yo, Marcus! Wrong guy. And Spectre grew to 37. Sweet! Oops, I really mixed you up. Damn right you did. I'm not Marcus. Marcus is like a couple floors below. You can't explore Mount Mortar, but I guess it's from my partner. The trend to a trainer who uses a slowpoke. That slowpoke is really good at using strength. Okay, so I guess there's a little hint of where you can encounter them. So, yeah, so, anyways, back here in the back part. This is a huge ass maze. But it's actually, it's kind of worth it. So, come down here and get ourselves a rare candy. Oh, I'll definitely be using them in the future. Anything else here? Nope. Well, yes, coming up, Rare Candies will be your best friend. So, let's go continue on through this place. So, definitely recommend having a map here. Um, I want to go up. Doesn't really matter where you go here. So, come up here and get ourselves a Repel Wearing Off and a Max Potion. Alright. So yeah, so the upper parts is kind of long, actually. I'm not going to bother with the uh, 
scouting and stuff, I'm just trying to go through this place as fast as I can. It's kind of a large place. Not only that, but having to like reset the um the machine whenever you uh, have to have to select something. Is it here? Nope. I think I know where it is. Nah, come up here. Oh, it's right here. Full restore. I'll definitely take that. Especially after that train wreck. So, anyways, come down here. Do a little bit of lead jumping. Did I seriously just say that? No, you mistook me. Lead hopping. I need to get more sleep at night. Nums around there, okay, we're about halfway through this back part. Good. Now I read there's some decent stuff here, and I don't think there's any HMs teams here. Except for Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace, we've already gone over Aerial Ace before, just as late of the game. Meh. If you notice, you should probably get some better flying type moves. Fly is honestly a little bit better, sure Aerial Ace is always a hit, but you won't be dealing with too many evasion noobs. At least for a little bit. Yeah, we're definitely almost done here. Yeah, it's a good thing I sucked on repels because this back part is kind of annoying. I honestly hate the back part of Mount, Mount Mortar. I don't know, it's just so random. Because right here we get ourselves a useful escape rope. I'll take that. Now right there should be a dragon scale. I said should. I'm not sure where it is, but I know that it's around here. There should be a dragon scale. Because I had to do some notes. So right here gives us a full heal. Don't worry, I just wanted to see what the item was. Okay, so we should be done with items in this floor, except for probably this... I think this is the dragon scale. Right? Yep, dragon scale, so you can now get King Draws. Yay! And an elixir. I'll take that, I'll be useful for coming up. So let's surf across this water and head down. Coming up, I'd, I'd highly recommend you have a freeze on your party right about now. Cause we are not done yet. Yay. Nope, it's down here. Oh, well, ether. I'll take that. You haven't bothered with setting up a map here yet. Okay, I know where we are now. Yeah, for a moment there I was like, wait, where the hell are we? I know where we are now. I've grounded myself. Oop, I forgot the item. Forgot an item. Yep, I almost forgot this thing. I don't think it's anything good, right? Mm, iron. Ten, I ten EVs. Good for ten Rattatas. Or I guess Geode is in this case. I don't know. I've been recording for a while. Still a little salty about, um, what's her face, Claire. Okay, now we are. So coming around here there, don't jump down those ledges. So yeah, so this is the uh, light gray parts I've been talking about earlier. Right here is an iron ball. Makes you go very slow. Good if you use fling because that'll deal 120 power for a dark type move if you have fling. I don't think we have fling, fling at this point. Okay. Right here we get ourselves a max of five. And then coming up is the boss of this place. Come down here. Right here we get ourselves a max revive. And then head down here. Hi. I am the Karate King. I train here alone in the cave. You, battle with me. Wah! So, secret boss. I don't have notes for this guy, but um, we are challenged by Kyo. With Hitmon Lee. The reason why I say this guy is kind of, kind of a secret boss is because you actually get an extremely good reward for beating him. And you're swapping out because you probably have no answer to Hitmon Lee. Well, Metacham. Spectra, there we go. My mind is just basing off. That's it. 
I did less than I thought. You probably know Sucker Punch, don't you? Fire Punch, close enough. It's a punch. It's not a Falcon Punch. There you go! Hitmonchan is down! Yay! And these are good experience. Yeah, Hitmonlee. Okay, Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee. Sparse. Okay, Hitmonlee. I think it's time for a nice little flight. Unless you're gonna use Jump Kick. Or Mind Reader, that works too. Too bad you're not gonna be using a. a, uh. Psychic so Tank move on a Dark Type Pokemon. And gone. There we go, not too bad. Where well, I'm beaten. I am Trush! My training is still not enough, but a loss is a loss. I admit it. As proof you to defeat me, I'll give you a rare fighting type Pokemon. We obtained Tyrogue! A fighting type Pokemon. No, I don't need to give it a nickname. Tyrogue is a fighting type Pokemon. It evolves into a tougher Pokemon. Keep up the hard work and I'll be training soon. Too farewell. So, Tyrogue as a Pokemon! Eh. It is alright as a fighting type Pokemon. However, though, you obtained it at a very low level. This could be good. If the training in this game weren't horrible. So, Tyrogue is an interesting Pokemon. Its attack and defense are kind of balanced out. It evolves into one of three Pokemon at level 20, depending on its stats. If you have higher attack than defense, you're going to get Hitmonchan, a powerful physical attacker. If you have higher defense and attack, you'll be able to get Hit Hitmonchan, a more bulky Pokemon, has has alright defenses. Alright defense and attack, I honestly prefer Hitmon Lee over Hitmonchan. And you're able to get Hitmon top if their attack and defense are equal. They're alright Pokemon, mean they're good fighting type Pokemon. Just at the level you get them, I don't recommend them. Anyways, right here is a strength boulder, and way back when we could, if we had a surf, we could be able to expl be able to uh, do stuff here. So yay, we are done here. That is it. We're done with Mount Mortar. At least until we get rock climb, and that won't be for a very long time. And I'm kind of excited once you're able to get rock climb again. So with that. We now have one more area we can explore with with Waterfall, and that is down here on Route 47. I'll meet you guys at the lower part of Cliff Cave. No matter how many times I'm on this route, I've always loved this music. Oh yeah, so anyways, I've been alluding to this for a while, but we can actually do some more stuff in the lower part of, Cliff, of Route 47. As always, pop up Red Pill if you feel like it. Um, where to put them? Right here. Okay, so I'll repel up. Okay. So I don't fully remember the extent of this route. Yeah, actually, I have this much later on. So come back here. There's nothing back here. No. Completely useless. So, yep. Now I want to go ahead and scale this waterfall. And come back here, and we have a random batch of grass. You can find milk tanks, other Pokemon here, are just obscure patch of grass. I don't think there's any po new Pokemon there. No? And a Pokemon. But no, that's an alternate place you can get Dittos. Well, continuing this little surfing espionage. Um, here's that pearl I alluded to a whole long time ago. Now let's continue the surfing marathon. Continuing on further, uh, if you go this way, 
There are some rock climbable walls! Once again, we can't do anything about that for an extremely long time. In fact, those rock climbable balls we will not be able to do until a stupidly long time. As in, like, that's like one of the last things to do. So you want to remember that faintly for something very far off in the future. Anyways, I want to scale this final waterfall. And right here. Four. A white flute increases the encounter rate of Pokemon. Don't you feel so glad you tricked all the way out here just for a shiny flute? Same here. Next up, we're going to head to Safari Zone because there's another thing we could do there that I haven't done in a while. Okay, back here in the Safari Zone. I've been waiting for you. The test is ready. This time you need to catch the Sandshore and show it off to me. It sounds easy, right? Not really. Sandshore will not appear within the current Safari Zone settings. And that's where this comes in handy. There we go. This sophisticated high-tech machine lets you customize my Safari Zone areas. I call it the Area Customizer. You want to know how it works, don't you? It's a uh, secret. Well, you shouldn't have trouble operating it. Just talk to the staff next to me. I almost forgot. I was in the middle of explaining the second test, wasn't I? You will not see Sandshore in the current Safari Zone areas, so you have to use the Area Customizer to change them. Sandshore lives in the desert. Good luck. Oh, it shouldn't be that bad, so we can now swap things out. So, which ones we haven't done yet? We haven't done that one. Um, what else haven't we done yet? Um, we haven't done this one yet. That one. So we have an entire second page. We haven't done that one. Um. I know we haven't done that one. We haven't done that one. Uh, which one? In, I don't think we've done this one either. So, we now have a new Safari Zone! You can customize it to any way you want. Very cool settings. So now we can go through and continue our exploration. So, coming up here in the first area, this mountainous area. What can we encounter here, besides my repel still up? I'm just derping you out because I'm trying to wear, wear off this repel and finding where it is, um... Where is it? I can find magnetons. Here we go. One. Meh. Anyways, here you can find Rattatas, Lickitungs, Magnetons, and Larvitars. Larvitar is the most interesting one because you will not be able to obtain a Larvitar otherwise for an extremely long time. You've always at level 55 and yeah, so it's a po noteworthy Pokemon because you will not be able to obtain a Larvitar until pretty much the very, very end of the game. And by that time, its levels will not be that suffice. Here in the desert, you can find Sandshrew. What else can you find? Sandshrew, Sandslash, Cubone, and Marowak. Hi, right, Sandshrew. Anyways, Cubones are another interesting Pokemon. They're more defensive Pokemon. So, yeah. I need to go catch my Sandshrew because I want to conclude a side quest. There we go. Took you long enough. There we go. So with that, we now have another area. This is more of a plains-like area. Trying to see what Pokemon we can encounter in this little plains area. Hi, Diggles. Here we can find Jigglypuff, Hopip, and Sunkern. And Skiploom. And Merrells. And Whoopers. And Clefairies. In the water you can find, um... Pretty much typical stuff. Nothing really special here. So 
So yeah, so Clefairy is like the main interesting one. This water is very interesting because you can find Lapras here. Very, very interesting too. You can also find um, Doduo, Slowbro, Slowpoke, Krabby, Zubats at night. Um, what else can you encounter? Probably with Bike, Poly World, and Lapras. So interesting stuff here. Wow, he actually caught Slowbro. GG. Too bad I don't need Slowbro for a quest. Slowpoke. So, yep. Anyways, these little barricaded things here. This is kind of connecting areas because you can sw switch and swap them around. That kind of explains it. Here in the forest series, I know you can encounter Murkrows here, at least at some point you could. You can also find Bell Sprouts, which we don't need. I can find where, where this place is. What else could we encounter here? Um, it's not the Swamplands. Hi, Mr. Evious. What is this? Here we go, you can find Bell Sprouts, Pidgeys, Mr. Mimes, Mistrevious, Hunters, and Ghastlies. I thought you could encounter Murkros here. Maybe that's a different area. And here in the Swamplands, you can find primarily poison type Pokemon. Well, to be exact, Ekans, Coughing, Weezing, Arbok, Grimer, Wooper, Ordish, and Gloom. And I guess in the waters, um, primarily those stuff. So, that's it there. We've gone over most of the Safari Zone. So, I will meet you guys with, with a, with a, um, uh, Sandshrew. I have a Sandshrew, good sir. You did it! You got a Sandshrew, I knew you could do it! You passed the test, you're now a Safari Zone owner! Yay! I've always wanted to see young people playing the Safari. I thought I might, might get some new ideas. That, that, that should help you complete your Pokedex. That's what I've been thinking. By the way, that you are the Safari Zone owner, would you kindly continue to pay admission? We have our reasons. Don't be upset. I'll keep thinking about how I can create fun new ways to help you complete your Pokédex. Now go have fun in the Safari Zone. So, we have done that side quest. There's one more part to that side quest, but it won't be until after we beat the Elite Four. So, yay! Yeah, so, we got a Geodude in a sand shoe and we're owners of a... of a park. If only life was that simple. So with that, that's everything I want to do. We managed to... Well, we got ourselves the final gym badge. We went through Mount Mortar, and we did waterfall stuff, and we're now owners of the Safari Zone. Next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, we see what Professor Elm has for us in store. See you guys then.